Now we need to also look at gender issue under the topic now. Now nouns generally may have uh, may not be sex sensitive, whether it's male or female. There are some words that cut across uh, both sexes. For example, we can talk of uh, uh, the word dancer. A dancer is a dancer, whether it's a male dancer or not. Uh, doctor doesn't have a uh, difference whether male or not. And on and on, we have the ones. But in some cases, we have names that are particular to the gender. They are particular to the gender, masculine or feminine. That is the point I'm making. Uh, so, for, for under that, we cannot take... Um, the masculine and then we'll take the feminine these are the two major groups that we have we'll just take examples to indicate this now we know the simple ones if you have a man then the feminine is woman and that can go for a number of other ones. We can talk of boy and girl. Male and female. That is uh, masculine and feminine. So, now if you say bachelor, bachelor, the feminine is what? Spinster for somebody who is yet married, who is not married. That is that. Then we can talk of bridegroom, and then we we'll talk of bride. We won't be able to capture all of them on the board but some i'll just tell you bridegroom and then you have the bride okay then now let's look at father mother now these two can have a general word covering them and that is a parent a mother is a parent a father is a parent so you want to note that and then you can talk of brother sister and then the general word for this is sibling sibling we, we have others widow uh, widower and a widow for a man who has lost the wife and the woman that has lost the husband. So these are gender issues. Okay.